y'all how are you doing i'm doing awesome it's a nice relaxed day and today i want to uproot some of the cabbages that are honestly just not thriving in my kitchen garden and chop them up and give them to the chicken because the geese will just finish them and they eat a lot of greens by eating grass so i think i should give those to the chicken and then i might take a djembe and palilia some of my you know plants the various plants that i've planted here in the compound and that's about it i hope you're doing all right wherever you are these guys once in a while put up a great show for me by you know jumping into the pool and running around the pool and jumping out of it and splashing water and flapping their wings and um, i just didn't catch it because i was doing busy i was busy doing dishes so i'm gonna try and catch that for you guys one time it's just a beautiful thing to watch them so this is what we have going on i'm thinking i might as well uproot them and chop them for the chicken so that they can have greens because if i leave them here the geese will definitely eat them all when i'm not looking and maybe i'll also pick some of the eaten skooma leaves by the chicken and chop them up for them i uprooted these cabbages which you see they are either not fully grown or they've been eaten by geese and so i'm chopping them up and this big the hard part i'm giving them to the geese because they can better eat it and then the other ones the softer ones i'm chopping them up putting them in a gunia for my chicken because they won't be able to finish all of it today so i'll store it and give them kidogo kidogo every day portion by portion daily Yes, this is surely a lot of cabbages <laughs> for my chicken and these are the few ones that I've been able to salvage so I'm gonna cook them soon today's supper is black tea and githeri the sound of rain in the roof it's actually not a lot uh, it's not like the rain is not heavy it's just very light it's like you know the marasha rasha the what do you call it you know the light rain the drizzle and uh, it just sounds lovely it's like music to my ears and nowadays it's been raining like that from like I would say late afternoon to like the wee hours of the morning and it's the best sound whenever you turn in bed and you hear that sound you just want to sleep like the whole night I just love it By the way, a few of you have contacted me to check on me on how I'm doing <coughs> after you know the recent floods and I'm honestly <coughs> I'm honestly doing well I haven't experienced the floods firsthand. Um, obviously there's been a lot of flooding in Narrow County 
and nearby counties and other counties in the country and my heart goes to those people who have been affected by floods. I'm actually praying for you all because <coughs> it's not easy like and um, I think you've seen in my recent posts of uh, nearby water, I'll call it you feel a water pond, you know, some water accumulating near my house, not far away from my house. So I'm praying that <laughs> if it rains a lot and you know, water accumulates, that it doesn't reach my house because I've seen people's houses being buried in water halfway, sometimes all the way to the roof, and I just can't imagine being in that situation. <coughs> so but anyway, yeah, I'm fine. I haven't experienced it. I stay home for the most part. I just keep so busy, as you've seen in my videos. There's just a lot to do in uh, in a rural homestead, to be honest. So I never venture out, like, to go to town. I've seen pictures of flooding in Narok town. I just saw some other news on Twitter of flooding in the Mara area, which is also part of Narok County. So I am aware that you know, there are floods occurring in Narok and I consider myself so lucky that God has kept me away from the floods, but I'm doing okay. Thank you so much for your concern. Thank you so much for checking on me. And <coughs> most of the people who are checking on me, most of them are outside the country. And I know you guys have families over here in the country and I hope your families are doing okay. Do you think during this rainy and flood season and um, I really pray for everyone who's been affected with these floods because it's wow it's just it's shocking and scary and I do pray that God sees you all through these times and um, yeah thank you for checking with me I'm doing fine thank you